Hello everyone and welcome to Healthy Cooking with Shada. I'm your host and this is where I teach you how to make healthy plant-based meals that are salt, oil, and sugar-free. Today we are going to be making a quick and easy Dijon dressing that's going to be nut-free. We're going to make it with cannellini beans and um, it is absolutely delicious. It's dairy-free, oil-free. It does have a little bit of miso in there so um, if you're opposed to that, then I guess you could leave it out, but I, I, I kind of like the little miso in there. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please consider doing so. And when you do, please make sure to go ahead and ring that bell. And one other thing, if you guys could please comment on the YouTube channel, I absolutely love getting your comments and your feedbacks from you. So please make sure to do both of those. So in order to get started, I have this thing called the Tribest, and it's going to be, I'm going to post a link to it on, in the show notes. Um, and I absolutely love this little gadget because I can make little salad dressings and not have to get my Vitamix out and make a whole, you know, big thing of it and get it all dirty. And I can make quick and easy salad dressings in here and I can close the lid. And in fact, I can put this in the refrigerator if I need to for, for later use. So is just a great additional tool to have. So what goes into this delicious sal um, salad dressing? It's my favorite, mustard. I absolutely love mustard. Since I was a little girl, I was obsessed for whatever reason with mustard. My mom would come home and find me just eating it by the spoonful, spreading it on a lavash bread. I just love it. And you know what? I still love it to this day. I still can eat it by the spoonful. I still can eat it on the love of bread. Although I don't do that anymore, but I could. Um, that's how much I love mustard. So today we are going to be using the Grey Puhan. It does have a little bit of sodium in here. And should you want to be totally salt free, go ahead and change this out for the West Spray. I don't, I didn't have the West Spray at home. If not, I, I would have probably used that to show you guys. But either way, it's interchangeable and do what works for you. So we're going to start with cannellini beans. And if you can't find cannellini beans, great northern beans work just as well. You just need some white beans. And we're going to go ahead and put that in here. Um, you want to make sure that it's salt free. And if it's not, make sure to rinse it. Even though this was salt free, I went ahead and I rinsed it and um, drained it. Next, we are going to put some nutritional yeast. When you're doing nutritional yeast, please make sure that you're getting the unfortified. You don't want to get the fortified nutritional yeast. I'm going to post a link to this uh, brand. This is um, Sari Foods. I absolutely love this brand. And I do get the bigger package just because, you know, we, we use it off and on. And I don't want to keep buying um, little, you know, I just don't want to keep ordering it. So this way we have it. So the nutritional yeast is going to give us our B12 and it's also going to give us a little bit of that cheesy flavor. We're going to pour that in there. We are going to use a quarter teaspoon, like I told you, of the miso. The miso just acts, you know, has a little bit um, of flavor to this. So we are going to use it. I need a little spoon, so hold on guys. There we go. Okay, it's just really hard to get it out of here. And I know that, you know, Dr. Greger is a huge fan of using misos, which is great. I'm not using the salt right out of the salt shaker. And then we're going to use the, add the mustard to it. Oh, I just, even seeing this mustard, I just love it. Okay. And we're also going to add a little bit of a date syrup because I want a little bit of sweetness to it. So it's going to be a little sweet, a little salty, a little uh tangy it's gonna have it all now the date syrup um i'm not sure about your area but our trader joe's finally started carrying this organic date syrup 
Um, if not, I'll post a link. You guys can get this through the date lady. And that's where I was getting it all the time. But with Trader Joe's just down the street carrying it, I find that I don't need to order it anymore. And hopefully this is something that they will continue having. Because you know how it is. Sometimes they bring something and then they stop carrying it. So let's close the lid. Now, what are we adding to this? We are going to be adding rice vinegar. When you're buying your rice vinegar, make sure you're getting the sodium free and the sugar free because it does come with sodium and it does come with sugar, but that's not what we want. So you want to make sure you're getting the sodium free and the sugar free. So we're going to pour that in here. And then we're going to add a little bit. You know what? I'm going to blend this a little bit because it's getting full. So let's just blend this up. Okay. Now we're going to add our water to it. It just made some room in there after blending everything. And the recipe for this uh, video is going to be on my website, healthycookingwithshada.com. All right, now we're gonna blend this all together. Okay guys, I think this is ready. Everything seems to be mixed. I'm going to take a little sample from here. So good. This dressing is so good. Go ahead and pour it. And if you want to make a double batch, I would recommend to make a double batch, but oh, so good. And this is it. This is our quick and easy Dijon dressing. And it goes so good on so many, so many things. So if you, especially if you like mustard, you're going to love this salad dressing. I want to thank you all for watching another episode of Healthy Cooking with Shada. Don't forget to subscribe and to make your comments. And remember, guys, it's one bite at a time, one meal at a time. Until next time, we'll see you guys soon.